Whether it be superheroes or supervillains, many have intrinsic superpowers due to alterations in DNA pattern, natural phenomenon, or magic. Batman, as we know, is not gifted or burdened in some cases with such abilities. Yet when it comes to upholding justice and defeating the bad guys, there is hardly anyone who does it better than him. Today I will bring you a few scenes where Batman turned the tables and reversed the situation by turning the weakness I into strength. I am the knight. I am Batman. Justice League vs. Aliens at the beginning of the Justice League TV series episode Secret Origins, parasitic aliens invade the Earth. Led by Superman, Batman, and Martian Manhunter, the Justice League, including Flash, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and Hawkgirl, assemble for the first time. During the raging battle, Batman fails to escape from the enemy base during their guerrilla mission and dies before Jean and Diana's very eyes. But not long after Batman's demise, the rest of the members also get captured. The whole Justice League was put into a state of incapacitation by blocking the radiation of our yellow sun. By blocking the sun's radiation, aliens not only douse the planet in darkness, but gain the ability to roam freely on Earth without getting burned. But when all seems lost, Batman comes to save the day. He turns the tables by reverse engineering the ion crystal's power, which previously protected the aliens from radiation, is now exposing them to their painful deaths not to mention the revitalization of the Justice League. Batman vs. Clue Master Arthur Brown, commonly known as Clue Master, was a young child prodigy in his days. But a single wrong answer made his life topsy-turvy and turned him into a revenge-seeking villain. At the climax of the story, Batman has to face Clue Master to save the lives of three people before they were tossed into an acid bath. If we compare Clue Master's knowledge of worldly subjects, Batman can hardly measure up to him. What is the number pi? Pi, of course, is the ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter, but that number cannot be expressed as a finite decimal. But in the spirit of gamesmanship, I will recite the number to 50, no, 100 decimal places. 3.75. Knowing he cannot beat Arthur in a conventional manner, Batman takes a gamble. As we all know, one of Batman's known weaknesses is the possibility of his secret identity being revealed. But Batman takes this opportunity to fire a question that not only decides the fate of the captives, but also his as well. What can I ask you about? Anything! No topic is off limits? History, science, literature! Music, biology, current events? Anything! Name the true identity of the Batman. <laughs> Trick question! Ask another! You said I could ask anything. No! If you're enjoying the video, please remember to give a like. It is one click away. Regime versus Insurgency One of the bloodiest battles Batman and the Justice League have fought during the five years in Injustice Gods Among Us, Superman and Wonder Woman become tyrants who force their regime on people in the name of peace. Many of the Leaguers, except Batman and a few others, chose to follow Superman's regime blindly. At the end of the fifth year, Batman's faction, Insurgency, has suffered massively and run out of members to stand against the regime. Superman, to spread his control over the planet, orders Lex Luthor to create an army of superpowered soldiers. By using Superman's DNA, Luthor creates a green pill, a pill that gives superhuman strength to its users. Pondering on ways how they can harvest the green pill, Insurgency takes custody of some and analyzes them. The result was a gang of passionate insurgents who are deadlier than any army. The DNA which Batman detested and feared most has now played into their greatest advantage and mostly made it possible for Batman to take down the Superman, fair and square. Batman the Deal Breaker In Justice League, led by Lex Luthor, is a group formed by the nemesis of each Justice League member. In the Justice League TV series, Injustice League was able to capture Batman, plant a bomb in the Watchtower, and neutralize the Justice League. However, it would have been a lot worse if Batman didn't hunt down each one's emotional and worldly weaknesses and played them according to his advantage. Grundy, what's Luthor paying you for this? Money. Lots of it. As much as he's getting? You should be getting more. More than me? Preposterous. Is it? Starting with Grundy, he got into the heads of both Cheetah and Ultra Humanite also. 
Gaining the advantage over them made it possible for Batman to not only warn the Justice League about the bomb, but also defeat Lex Luthor, even after his transformation. Neither were you, Lex. <laughs> Wait. You'll keep our bargain? Yes. Double what Luthor was paying. What was that all about? Batman vs. Martian Manhunter Batman meets Martian Manhunter under the name of Detective John Jones for the first time in the episode The Joining in the Batman TV series. Although they start off on the wrong foot, quickly were able to clear the misunderstanding and team up to stop the worldwide alien invasion. During their meeting, Manhunter reveals that he used his mind-reading ability to know the secret identity of Batman. But before long, Batman comes up with a technique to counter his vulnerability against mind-reading and also to deceive the mind-reader according to Batman's will. How'd you figure out Batman was Bruce Wayne? Read your mind. Hmm. Something wrong? No, it's just... that's cheating. Read my mind now. What? You heard me. You're thinking of a dog you owned as a boy. Location of the Batcave. I distinctly saw... A mental image I conjured up to block my real thoughts. A trick I picked up from some Tibetan monks. Heart of Gold We all have seen Batman in action, pulling crazy stunts, outsmarting even the most genius, and being two steps ahead of others every time. But how he resolved the catastrophe that was going to take place because of the unstable nature of Ace is truly magnificent. I'll do it, Shaira. We rarely get to see this, but for once, Batman let down all his guard and approached Ace with his true intentions and thoughts. This scene is one of the best and most emotional we get to see in Justice League. They got their weapon. I got cheated out of my childhood. I know what that's like. You do, don't you? You don't have to answer. I read your mind. That's how I knew you weren't going to use Mrs. Waller's weapon on me. No, I wasn't. You were going to try and talk me into fixing what I've changed. Before I die. Yes, I'm sorry. Could you stay with me? I'm scared. He sat with her until her time came. If you can, please pledge me a dollar from Patreon and help me to create more great content. Thank you. Best in Trinity The union of Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman is known as the ultimate trinity. In Superman and Batman Apocalypse, Superman's cousin Kara Zor-El is abducted and brainwashed by Darkseid. So with the aid of Big Barda, the trinity decided to infiltrate Darkseid's home planet Apocalypse. Just to remind you, in the 2014 movie Justice League War, it took the whole Justice League to push Darkseid out of Earth's boundaries. Therefore, the Trinity can hardly match against Darkseid, not to mention the home ground advantage. Knowing the power of Darkseid and the caliber of the War World Apocalypse, Batman decided to unsheath the double-edged sword. Hellspores are small devices made from apocalyptic technology. A single dark spherical machine is capable of burning a hole into a planet's core and thus creating a fire pit. Such a process will devastate an entire world, and think about what will happen if hundreds of these devices were launched at once. This is one of the epic moments in DC history, where even the greatest Darkseid has felt the emotion fear. It's over, Darkseid. Even you must realize the folly of being a king without a kingdom. Your armory, the Hellspores, they've been activated. Impossible. The arming code is encrypted. I broke the code and reprogrammed them. <laughs> You're bluffing. Omega Lambda 7 XL9. That sounds like a bluff to you? One Hellspore can turn an entire planet into a fire pit. What'll happen to Apocalypse when 500 go off simultaneously? You dare? You dare? <laughs> Say it. Well played. Had the Kryptonian or the Amazon taken that gamble, they would have lost. They do not have the strength of character to destroy an entire planet to achieve success. An admirable quality. Take the girl. I will make no move against her. Batman vs. Batman. One of the best scenes where we get to see neither brute force nor strategic plans in play, but the pure honesty and feelings of Batman. 
When Parallel Timeline's Justice League captured New Earth's, our Earth's, Justice League, Batman decided to face himself, as he knew he is the only one who even had a slight chance of changing his own mind. Batman is the darkest among all the Justice Leaguers, but inside that darkness, he has hidden his deepest feelings and sorrows. Letting those feelings resurface is a weakness he thought he should suppress. However, when facing himself, he wanted to know what answers he would find to those feelings he discarded for such a long time. I didn't forget. I just chose peace and security instead. You grabbed power, and with that power, we've made a world where no eight-year-old boy will ever lose his parents because of some punk with a gun. Gotham. Where's the litter? If you want people to respect the big laws, you've got to enforce the small ones. What are you doing? The small laws, remember? Look! Five and five make fifteen! Could you come with us, please? Get your hands off me! I didn't mean it. I'm sorry! They'd love it here, don't you think? Who? Mom and Dad. They'd be so proud of you. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give a like. It is one click away.